Maguire to Lloyd. Played nicely away on the onside. They'll get two for this. Rodney Hogg moving around there to towards square leg. Vivian Richards looking for the third and making it easily. Oh, what a good shot. He hit that very firmly into the square there. It bounced over the top of Yallop's head. I think he just got a little finger on it, but despite that, the ball rolling into the boundary at point. Well, that's Vivian Richards' first boundary. Rodney Hogg again. Oh, what played. You can't afford to drop short to this bloke. Viv Richards ever so quick there to get on the back foot and smash that away. It's a pull shot and he hit it all the way along the ground. Rodney Hogg. Ornick straight through where first slip would have been. Well, that's the problem with trying to do two things. I'm trying to keep the runs down. And as a result, have no slips. And uh, if they had have had a whitish first slip, they may have had the Richards out. Clive Lloyd in tremendous form facing John Maguire. And he can also do that. Put you back over your head as the bowler. Described by Rodney Marsh as the most dangerous man in limited over cricket. Clive Lloyd. And that's a pretty accurate appreciation from a man who has stood behind the stumps a lot of times whilst Lloyd has been playing these sort of strokes. Lloyd 16, Richards 18. Two for 68 after 23 overs. And a big test now for young Greg Matthews. He replaces Maguire. But it's certainly going to be a baptism of fire for this young man. Going against two of the greatest batsmen in the world. And Viv uh, is going to try and get on top of him straight away, which is very good tactics and exactly what you would expect from Richards. And if you can get one to turn, you have got a bit of a chance. But don't bowl there. Oh, he said that beautifully. Nine runs coming from that over. It's two for 77. Rodney Hogg is the successful bowler, two for 16. Maguire has none for 15 from four. And he's really clouded that one. It's right near border, but clearing his head. That's one of the problems with Clive Lloyd. He can hit them straight at the fieldsman and clear their head, no matter how big the ground. Oh, that's come off the edge. Clearing Marsh's diving glove. And away for boundary. It's two for 92. Beautiful stroke and a great piece of placement there. The man at uh, deep point has to come around to deep cover. You have to be quick. Well, that was good chasing, but uh, not so good with the throwing and Rodney Marsh is uh, telling him there to bounce the ball get it in quickly get rid of it and bounce it rather than throw it in on the full and way out there was Graham Yellow a little bit of added pressure there good running between the wickets by Roy and Richards Warson is a great outfielder, fumbled under pressure, walked up at the vital moment, gave away a run. Man at deep square, Yallop put it down. He took a marvellous catch in the test in Adelaide, but there it's gone for four, and that might be one the Australians regret for the rest of the day. And that was a big disappointment for the Australian team because with the white ball, he was placed out there for the big hit. Yallop made his ground well enough at the last minute, didn't take it clearly. Oh. 
Well, that could have been one of the all-time dismissals then. He smashed it back at Vivian Richards. It went into the air, and Matthews was aware of the situation. He could have got his hands about that. He would have had a freakish court and bowl. McGuire comes in now to Viv Richards. Safely away, Yallop is going to do the chasing, but uh, he'll do it, yes. Well, he can have it in his hands, I don't think. We'd need to see that again. Graham Yallop did well on that occasion, but he also fumbled as Richards pointed over mid-wicket. Well, that's an interesting one because his feet were in the gutter when he knocked that back the second time. Now five feels me inside the circle for Richards trying to cut off the singles. Very good shot. Yallop trying to cut it off. Well, he's having a problem out there, Graham Yallop. He might have made a lot of runs this year, but uh, here this morning he's put down one catch and fumbled uh, two others. That one went for four. It wouldn't be unfair to say he's fielded like a girl today. He's really got in the dither out there. He's got to the ball well enough, and then it's been all slide and through the legs and knock-ins and fumbles. And two extra runs to Vivian Richards. That's Border. Oh, oh, badly positioned himself there. It hit the fence, so it was definitely catchable. One of the rules of cricket, if you're fielding in the deep, you look at Rodney Marsh, he says it all, you must be on the boundary line. Lloyd smashed that and Board has taken two or three seconds to get back and he didn't get back far enough, the ball hit the top picket and that certainly was catchable. Clive Lloyd in tremendous form facing John McGuire. And that's a good shot from Lloyd. He's not hitting it behind square leg now. He's going for the stroke in front and they'll pick up three runs there. Once again, a little bit of slipping out there. That outfield was wet this morning. How it got wet, I have no idea because there's been no rain down here, but I suspect uh, it was probably watered yesterday. Oh, shot. What a marvellous stroke that was. There's nothing wrong with the ball except that John Maguire gave Richards some room outside off stump, and that's what we were talking about. You must bowl straight. It's a hundred partnership up between Richards and Lloyd. And what a great battle they've produced. Two for 34 when they came together. Hundred up now, and that one not quite straight. And Vivian Richards bring up a magnificent 50 in great style. He found the gap, he hit it with tremendous power. He's got the bit between his teeth now as Maguire comes in from the outer end. And he's gone. Maguire is struck and Richards is out. A good ball. Marsh taking the catch. And that was what the Australians had to do. They had to break through this partnership if they were to have any chance at all. A glorious piece of batting from Richards and Lloyd. Well bowled by Maguire, not giving the batsman too much width, keeping it close to the off stump. And the lone catcher, Rodney Marsh, did the rest and rest in his after 35 overs of 3 for 137.